everybody, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with another rumour has it video where we're talking about players linked to Newcastle United. The transfer window isn't open yet, but doesn't stop players being linked to the club every single day, practically. <laughs> and we try and bring you as many as we can on the channel. And we're going to get stuck into this lad in a minute. It's a bit of an update on one, and that's a very familiar name. I think you'll all remember who we're talking about in a second. So just before we do a little bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. We'd love you to come and join us. We are currently on 2,109 subscribers, so thank you so much to everybody else who's joined ever more since then. You won't regret it. Loads of free content here, two weekly podcasts, uh, and just pop videos like this, rumour videos, and just a little bit of crack videos about what's happened in the world of Newcastle United in the news. So, yeah, all free. We don't charge anybody for this. It's tough times at the minute, so we'd just like to come and chat about the club with you, and uh, we'd like you to come join us in the comments, and we always try and engage with you. So let's get stuck into this rumour has it then. So we're talking about a player that we, we all want. We're all desperate to have this player. You know exactly who I'm talking about. The update is on this man right here, James Madison. The uh, Leicester City attacking midfielder, an England attacking midfielder who criminally was underused at the uh, the World Cup that they've just been put out of uh, with a 2 1 defeat to France uh, the other day. No idea why this lad didn't get any game time at all. I knew he was injured when he first went into the camp, but Jesus Christ, Southgate, look at the, what the kid's got to offer, man. Give him a chance, for God's sake. But listen, Madison is a player that hasn't gone away. We were after him last summer, there was two bids from the club. Um, I think in the excess of 40 million quid, there was even talk about Dubravka being chucked in at one point and Dubravka threw his toys out the pram and went to sit down on, on a really comfy seat at Manchester United and has never been seen again. Um, but yeah, so Madison is a player that the club definitely wants. There's no doubt about that. There's been some wicked banter going on in the England camp with Madison and the Newcastle lads. Every time you see him, he's either by Callum Wilson or he's by Trippier or he's talking about Popey. Uh, even Connor Cody got out of the action by having a bit of a joke uh, on one of the England YouTube challenges great show uh the lion's den and madison was there smirking a bit saying there that's naughty that's not talking about newcastle versus leicester so i i think there's definitely definitely room in this i think the player wants to come i think he's at a crossroads in his career where i think he's looking for that next big move uh, he wants more european football he wants to push himself in that england reckon he's 26 years old as you can see there he's really getting to the peak of his powers and he's a phenomenal footballer there's no doubt about that you know, we'll look at his stats in a minute, but anyone who's anybody who's watched the Premier League for the last few seasons knows who James Madison is and what he's all about. He's all about getting the ball on a swivel, turning. You know, he, he can hit a through ball. He can smash it in the back of the net from distance. He's great at set pieces. You know, and, and he even showed a bit of leadership ability, I think, earlier on the season when he had all the speculation about coming to Newcastle. Didn't work out. Went back to Leicester. Leicester were in the shit. He's managed to pull them back up almost single-handedly. Uh, which is what gave, gave him his England call up, really. Yeah, I don't think he was even in Southgate's mind. And it was almost just the kid was too good that you just couldn't leave him at home. So let's have a look at his stats per 90 minutes. This is across the, the top five European leagues of players in Madison's position. You can see there, it's all greens. And it shouldn't surprise you, you know. In terms of his goals per game ratio, is a 92 percentile. So he's had 13 Premier League games and he scored seven goals in a struggling Leicester side. That's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. The guy's been incredible this season. His XG is down at 55. He's not normally a you know a kind of a consistent goal scorer, but he's really led from the front with Leicester this season so far. A shot, you can see there, he's nearly on three shots a game. 82 percentile shots on target, even better, 85 percentile. His goal to shot ratio is up in the 88s. His passing completion, his passing completion isn't great. It's down at the 39 percentile at 75 percent. You know, but in terms of his key passes, you can see there, he's much higher on that. He's on the 75 percentile as well. His assists, very, very good. He's got four assists this season in 13 games. You know, so he's up in the 85 percentile there. And you see his goal creation uh, chances there. He's up in the 93s. I mean, he's a phenomenal footballer. You can see how he's progressed in his career there through the timeline of the events Mark's put on. Leicester's really where he's, he's kicked up another level. And Sean, 185 appearances since 2018, 52 goals and 35 assists. His strengths, we all know his strengths, long shot, brilliant in free kicks, absolutely brilliant. The bend, the whip he has and the power. Again, I think of that Rashford chance and I think, why wasn't he on the pitch to have a shot at that in the England game? You know, it could have been a different kettle of fish altogether. Key passes and finishing. He's become a very accomplished finisher. Mark's compared him there to, to Miggy on the other side. Um, 
maybe a little bit unfair. You know, some people might say different players, but they play in similar positions in terms of what they're doing for the side. So I can understand the comparison there. And you can see Madison, it's like Independence Day spaceship there. He's completely eclipsed Miggy in terms of what he can do. Miggy's been a mint this season and Miggy deserves his place on the side. We're not saying he doesn't, but it just shows you the kind of the strength that Madison would bring you to, to the squad. Um, shit in the air, but who cares? <laughs> We've got other players to do that. So, so this is the kind of player that we would be we'd be looking to get. And you can see why we're all salivating over why we all want him. Um, so what Leicester have done, just to give you an idea on this update. So Leicester have apparently set their fee for Madison at 60 million quid to scare off Newcastle in January, because it has been reported that Madison is our top target and the club really want to get him. Now, the problem that Leicester have here. Is that Madison is out of contract in 2024. So if they dig their heels in and 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 they keep going the way they're going with him, and he just stays till the end of the season, they'll get next to nothing for him. And if he re- lets his contract run into 2024, they'll get a fuck all for him. So he's a massive sellable asset. You saw that with the likes of Mares in the past, with Kante, with Fafana. Leicester are a selling club, and Leicester will cash in on these big players as and when they can. The difference is when they sold Mares and Kante. Um, you know, they were in a bit of a stronger position. They don't want to lose one of our prize assets because without Madison this season, they could be, you know, down in the relegation zone, really. So I understand why they don't want to do it. But for me, I, I just think the player wants this to happen. I think certainly the Cash United want this to happen. There's been a lot of talk about FFP and, and how FFP might hamper us. I think the Castle will sell. In January, there won't be massive amounts of money, but I think, you know, only sponsorship deals coming in, there's more corporate sponsorship and revenue coming in, just like we said on our, on our podcast with Kieran Maguire, that Adam did a great podcast with us still on the channel. Check it out, guys, if you haven't. It's all about getting these commercial revenue deals and that lines the, the financial stability, which allows you to go and sign these big players. Now, we were willing to drop 40 million bones on Madison, no problem, even before those deals were done. Those deals are done now. You know, the likes of Saudi, the likes of Noon, the likes of, you know, um, the, 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 was it Vox, the, the sponsor we just had, all these new sponsorship deals coming in that the club are doing, you know, they're in place, that monster, they're all in place, it's all adding money to the pot. So that'll help fuel getting these big name players. Isaac came out of the blue at 60 odd million quid that nobody saw coming. So there's no doubt in my mind that the club will want to make a move for Madison in January. Whether we can get them or not, I don't know. It might be a bit of hardball with Leicester like it was in the summer, but they're not in a strong position. So they might want 60 million quid to scare us off. But if we were to come in with, you know, maybe 45 or 50, I think we'd get them. That would be a really generous offer. But if we go back with 40, even Leicester might have to consider doing something there. Maybe we can go back with a player plus cash deal. You know, I still don't think that, that Maxi, for me, is part of Howe's plans. I really don't. If Leicester think they want to replace Madison's creativity with Maxi, can we do a bit of a deal there? A little bit of a little bit of a swap of Rooney with a bit of cash involved. Who knows? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think for, for certain, what, what the story seems to be is that it was between us, Chelsea, and Spurs. And apparently Madison as the player fancies Newcastle United. And I think all these little these little quirks that you see on, on, on the England uh, camp duty. I think there's something in there. There really is. You know, I think Madison sees the project here. You know, Newcastle United are third. People need to remember that. We're third in the Premier League. And rightly so. We probably should be higher in all fairness. You know, we've, we've been absolutely superb this season. So for me, you know, I don't see why Madison wouldn't join us. You know, I do think we'll be a European football side come the end of the season. And what competition that is. Don't ask me. It might be the Champions League. It might be the Europa League. I don't know. But we will definitely be a European team come next season. And I think Madison wants a bit of that. So I can definitely see this deal coming off. I really can. A lot of the journalists are pouring water on it. I think probably not to just fuel the, the fire really from the fans as well. So I mean, the, the journalists don't want to say anything to get themselves and bother. You know, we had a great chat with Keith Downing. He was on the channel. Keith's a top bloke. He said he thought it would be really hard, but but there's always that little element there with Keith and Craig Hope and those other guys that they, they just know if these guys want something, they're going to go and get it. They're going to go and get it. They really are. But the lads can't say that because they'll just spark utter hysterical behaviour by us Newcastle fans that are crying for this player. They really are. But, but let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you be happy with Madison? I think most of us probably would. We had a Twitter poll running against him and DRB had been linked and Joao Felix and Christian Pulisic. And Madison was... By far and away, uh, the favourite, you know, thanks to two polls for, for me sharing that, what a top guy he is. But it just goes to show you the fan base will, will seem to be obsessed with this lad and, and getting him in. I really hope I can get him in in January because I just think he would be a hell of an asset to the squad. And almost a bit like when we signed Cissé and he pushed us 
into those Champions League, you know, kind of well, the fifth position that season, you know, just missing out on Champions League. Madison could be our CC, I think, in January. He could just really push us up that next level. But as I always say, let us know what you guys think in the comments below if you'd be happy with, with Madison coming in. I think most of us would be, and uh, we'll, we'll soon see because the Premier League will be back soon. We're going to be back with Evermore uh, on Thursday. It's our anniversary show, uh, so make sure you come and check us out there. We'd really love to have you on board in the comments. Have a good crap with you. As I mentioned at the start, if you're new to the channel and you've just picked us up, Happy to see you. Happy to have you on board. Smash the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video because it really helps get it around YouTube and loads of people see what we do uh, other than just the, the regular guys that come see, which we all love as well. And we all love you new guys as well. So this is Chris signing off. Let's keep supporting our team McCoy United. We'll be back with some more transfer banner soon. See you later.